what really happened is they found some loner idiot. They convinced him to do this. They let him on the roof. They let him set up. They let him shoot at Trump. Once Trump ducked, they assumed the mission was complete. They then blew his brains out before he could talk. That's what happened. They probably told him they wouldn't blow his brains out. Of course, yeah, they told him he'd promises. get away with it somehow, like they always do. Like they did to the Russian, your mates in Moscow. Oh, bro, those guys, I still don't want to be those guys today. They're getting tortured to this day. Yeah. They promised them they'd get them out. But they don't care about you because they just use you. And they're going to pretend, and they want to do the lone wolf bullshit. And Wait they want it on video. They want Trump's head exploding open on video. That's what they wanted. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video titled Three Minutes Ago, Andrew Turtle Reviews Shocking Detail on Trump Assassination. Wow. I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's check it out. Go. Andrew Tate is known for his unapologetically blunt and often controversial takes. In this fiery rant, he takes aim at the infiltration of diversity, equity and inclusion DEI, policies within the Secret Service and other male-dominated fields. According to Tate, these policies are nothing more than a farce, an attempt to pretend that women can perform at the same level as men in roles that demand physical strength and resilience. This is a no-holds-barred critique of societal norms and the supposed moral decay of America. So they're doing this DEI shit, even to the president, which shows that America has been morally corrupted to the point where we want to pretend that women are just as good as men at the things men are supposed to do with no obligation to give children at all. I'd argue that these Secret Service agents have not had as many kids as they're supposed to. Trump's a G. They're not doing what they're good at, so they can attempt to do what they're bad at, as good as the people who are good at it, to prove some bullshit point to people who don't care. Bro, That's not, here's the most important point. It's cosplaying. They, women are trying to prove to men they can do what men can do to men who don't care. We don't want to see you do what we can do. We don't want to see it. In fact, I can't think of anything less attractive than seeing you do what I can do. My life's been hard. I've been through a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, right? I went to jail with my brother and we sat in basically solitary confinement in a bathroom covered in cockroaches for four months and we didn't leave. I left with PTSD, I had some problems, I had some mental issues, etc. I don't want a girl who can get through that. No, I like girls who cry when they see a butterfly. Mm. That's, and my girl will be like, wow, butterfly. And if the butterfly dies, She'll cry, yeah. but I love butterflies. That's what I find attractive. If I met a bitch who just walked out of jail, the Matrix. I'm like, unfazed. I'm like, I'm like, this man is shooting a bitch with your last bullet, <laughs> and she stands there, unfazed. I'm like, bitch, bitch. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from me. Or maybe give me I, a quick, maybe give me a son just to conquer Earth. But besides that, yeah, I don't want you. Yeah, I don't want that. that. That's, we don't want women to do these things. Who are they trying to prove it to? Who is this female Secret Service agent trying to prove it to? She proved to the world she can't do it. Great. Let's imagine she proved to the world she could do it. Who would be happy about that? I don't give a fuck. Because a man. Uh, could, oh, you did your job. That's nice. Oh, you did your job. Great. A man. Great. A man still would have done it better. Next. I, I don't get this. I don't understand the whole fascination with women trying to prove they can do things that we know they can't do anyway. All right, are we still going to talk about this female Secret Service agent? Because this was not the point of today's emergency meeting. Well, I don't want anyone to accuse me of being a misogynist. Again. Again. Because I'm not. I'm just a realist. And when you're a realist, you identify certain patterns. Like dumb shit. Like women can't do shit. I mean, imagine being in the Secret Service and you can't even holster your gun. You should be so drilled. Tristan, you and I probably train. I can holster a gun. We train firearms maybe twice a month. And I can still, I can. And we I holster can on point every time. We holster, time. fire, and holster. How do, your secret service. Fucking bumbling Shrek looking motherfucker. What's the, what's going on? Anyway, enough misogyny for today.
Andrew Tate doesn't mince words when he lays into the idiocy of DEI policies that shove women into roles like the Secret Service. He argues this is nothing but a pathetic cosplay, where women are playing dress up, trying to do what men do best. This isn't equality, it's a joke. It's like putting a toddler in a NASCAR race and expecting them to keep up. Why the hell are we pretending that women can handle the same shit men do, especially in jobs that require brute strength and a bulletproof mentality? Tate paints a vivid picture. He's been through hell, locked up with his brother in a roach-infested cell for months. He got out with PTSD and a load of mental scars. Does he want a woman who can endure that? Hell no! He wants a woman who cries over a dead butterfly, not one who's unfazed by a gunfight. Tate's frustration boils over as he rips into the idea that these female Secret Service agents are somehow proving a point. Proving what? That they can stumble through a job that a man would ace? It's laughable. He argues that men don't care about these so-called achievements because they know the truth. A man would do it better, faster and more efficiently. Who the hell are these women trying to impress? He doesn't stop there. Tate tears into the very foundation of DEI policies, calling them out for lowering standards and endangering lives. Secret Service agents are supposed to be the best of the best, not some bumbling idiots who can barely holster a gun. He and his brother train with firearms twice a month and can holster a gun in their sleep. How the f is a Secret Service agent struggling with basic tasks? It's embarrassing. Tate makes it clear that this obsession with proving women can do everything men can is not only unnecessary, but also counterproductive. Men don't want to see women trying to be men. It's not attractive, it's not impressive, it's just plain stupid. The whole fascination with this gender-bending charade is lost on him. Women have their strengths and men have theirs. Forcing one to do the other's job is a recipe for disaster. Andrew Tate's rant is a scathing indictment of DEI policies and their misguided attempts to integrate women into roles like the Secret Service. He sees this as a colossal waste of time and effort driven by a need to make a political point rather than any practical consideration. Tate's message is raw, aggressive and brutally honest. Stop trying to force women into roles they're not suited for and let everyone excel where they naturally belong. It's time to ditch the bullshit and face reality. Wow, what an interesting video. We have all heard it all from Andrew Turtle. Reviews shocking Dote on Trump assassination. And he just said he's a realist. He's someone that always say the truth is not afraid to say the truth he always stand by the truth we all understand that there are certain roles that women can handle more effectively as compared to men we also understand that there are some uh, roles and work that men can handle more effectively as compared to women so it's not about uh fighting for gender equality it's not about fighting for rights or fighting for what a man can do, a woman can do better. It's not about that. It's just that there are some certain jobs, there are some certain rules that women will excel more in those rules as compared to men. There are also some rules that men will excel more in those rules as compared to, as compared to women. So just like uh, we have seen in this video in the security service, where uh, the lady is trying to, you know, put a gun and she was finding it a bit difficult. I won't say because she's a woman, but I kind of align with some of the points that Tete have stated in this video that there are some rules that men can excel, men can do better as compared to women. And I also believe, I for one, that there are also some rules women can, there are also some rules and work that women can do better as compared to men. So I believe if you are, if, if, if there are some certain rules that we know is physically demanding and men can do better in those rules, men will excel more as compared to women. So why bringing a woman into those rules? Because a woman might not be able to, uh, undo the job, might not be able to do, do, do what is expected as compared to when a man is undoing the job. And that's the point and fact Tete is trying to state, uh, in this video. And I believe if everyone, if everyone are going to, you know, perform their roles in the type of work they believe they can do better, I believe everyone is going to excel instead of men trying to 
fit in in women's work and women trying to fit in in the work they know men can do better. I think that is really a woke ideology. That's why this video is not about uh, gender discrimination, gender equality. It's just about fact. It's just about fact because there are certain rules that certain work that men can do better. There are also some certain work that women can do better. You are a woman. You don't have to uh, force yourself into certain work just to prove the ideology that a woman can also do what a man can do. We, we understand you can do that. And no, 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 no one cares about that. So it's better when you do some job that you know that you are suited for those jobs and you can excel more in those jobs instead of forcing yourself to, to be, uh, to be recognized in, in, in the job, you know, you, uh, you are not suited for those jobs. Wow. I've really learned a lot just listening to Andrew Tete. So I would also love to hear your comments. Let's get the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Thank you.